I'm David Keeling, a Tasmanian painter. I live and work in, uh, in Hobart. I'm here for my exhibition, Every Day Counts, at the Bet Gallery. And, you know, it's one of those prescient titles that you get asked, what's your show called this time last year or something? And I say, oh, Every Day Counts. And then we have the summer we've had and now we've had COVID. And I've just been trying to extend the themes that I've been dealing with over the last decade, I suppose. And that is, I want it almost like filming, like a cinematic. I want to paint a picture that, which absorbs the viewer, like the viewer can stand there and almost be in the landscape uh, in that moment. I made a deliberate decision about 20 years ago just to pull back on the figures in the landscape and just going back to that de Chirico idea of suggesting something outside the picture. One of the elements I was able to put into the picture was the path. And, um, and also, again, formally, it's a quite a lovely way of taking the eye through the picture, yeah, which has been used through the ages, really. And particularly with the more recent seascapes, I like to give an out to some, off to some um, unknown horizon, unknown future. Luke Timons, the great Belgian contemporary artist, painter, says that all great paintings have a silence about them, like the silence before, just before the storm breaks. And I think that the idea of the silence in the picture is, like I see that in the metaphysical works, they're silent, but they're so full and resonant somehow, they're just rich in that silence. And that's sort of a moment you try to get to in your work. What was interesting to me particularly about landscape was that it's not a benign space. It's actually the most political space we have. I, I guess one of the things that Jeff Lowe had taught me at art school was to look at early Renaissance or proto-Renaissance work and how the local could become universal. That is, they dressed local people in local costumes uh, and told the universal biblical stories in, in the frescoes and, uh, you know, the Lorenzettis and the Chimambuis and the Giottos. And that was a lesson that I'd carried with me from art school and I was, and I sort of used that when I started picturing the, uh, the those epiphanies on, on the drive to uh, Glenora every day. I quite often have used the, the ground with the scatter, you know, which actually came from the animal droppings on Mariah Island, when if you first go over to Mariah Island, which we used to do when I was in the painting department, we'd go there once a year and, uh, you know, it is quite striking, all the, the scats on the ground. And I can always remember when Ray Arnold wanted to go paint in the landscape and I said, yeah, I'll, I'll come with you. And so we went up to the quarry up on uh, Mount Nelson and it was overwhelming to me. And I just did a painting, which I've still got at home. It is such an important painting to me um, of just stuff on the ground. Yeah, I was determined not to do that white male, big vista view of landscape. Landscape isn't the vista. It's made up of all the little bits. And, uh, and, and I suppose our histories are made up in the same way, the little stories we tell one another and, you know, just imagine the stories that have been told about the Derwent River for 40,000 years, you know. I mean, th this stuff matters. It, it, it's deep it's, and, and um, you know, you've got to tell these stories, I think. <laughs>